Uh, so today we got this uh, HS81T steel hedge trimmer on the bench. Uh, it's been sitting up. The customer wanted me to check it out, see if I could get it running for it. Uh, when I first got it, it would not crank. Uh, it didn't have any gas, but uh, anyway, it wouldn't crank uh, at all. But it had spark. Uh, so what I had to do was uh, first thing was check the muffler, and uh, you just take this top cover off there's one two three four five bolts and then you can access the muffler through this bottom hole here take these two muffler bolts out and pull the muffler off and it has that screw in spark arrestor on it that's famous for clogging up so uh, we got that uh, straightened out cleaned up and I got it to fire but once we got it to fire the blades would barely move so these nuts were tightened all the way down. You know, they're supposed to be backed off just a hair. We did that. That didn't solve the problem. So now we're going to continue on and uh, see what's wrong with the blade system. So if you're interested, stay tuned. We'll get right into it. take a look into this gearbox here and to do that uh, you've got one two three four five six t27 torch bits we're going to take loose uh, get them out of the way so we can see what's inside here get them all out And I've already looked in here. Uh, now you don't have to take this screw out here. That's to add gear oil later on. Take your little screwdriver and pry up under here and this cover will come right off. Well, be careful when you take it off. Try not to damage the gasket. Ugh. That's all nasty. We're gonna clean that up. Set that aside for now. Then the next thing that comes off is this plate right here. Just lay this out in the order it came off if you can't remember how it goes. And then we've got our first little gear that's going to come off. This is uh, this is called a connecting rod. Be careful because there's little bitty needle bearings in here. I don't know if you can see those. There you go. Anyway, you want to be really careful with that. Uh, so, we looked at everything and... Uh, I went ahead and pulled out this uh, spur gear, or the, your spur gear is right here. Uh, it looks in good shape. This actually looks in good shape as well. Uh, don't think that's the problem. But we look down here at the second connecting rod, and uh, all the bearings are gone. All the little needle bearings. Plus this grease is sloppy. Uh, so we're going to take the blade off next. And you can do that with just two screws right here and right here. T27s as well, and you want to be careful. This uh, this little orange piece comes out. It kind of holds the blades in place. So you next take these off, and I may have to get my socket to do that. I will. So I'm going to take these two screws out, and we'll take the blades off, and I'll get right back with you. Taking these out, this back one. comes right out, lay it aside. This one here, however, has a washer underneath it, so be careful, don't lose that washer, remember where it goes. That's the front one, and then you can just take this whole, and I like to leave it all together, of course I'm gonna clean it up, but that way we know where that goes. Set that aside. And you can take the whole blade assembly off as one piece. And of course, we're gonna sharpen those blades before we put it back together. But here you go. There's your, uh, other connecting rod and you can see there's no bearings in there at all and I can't show you where but they're all you can't see them on here but they're all down in here inside this crease so our next thing to do is we're going to take this gear case right here just like it is I'm going to clean it up really nice and uh, get ready but I think that uh, this just being sloppy and no needle bearings in here and we're going to check for damage so 
Let me clean it up and we'll get back to you. Uh, so we got this all cleaned up. What I used is old gasoline and uh, poured in here and some little carp, and some carb cleaner. We got all this. What you want to check for is make sure this little, this is a little cage bearing in here. You got to look in there really good. Make sure your bearings are in there. And I just take my little finger here and make sure that's turning freely, not, not binding. Also, on the cover, there's two spots here, one here, and those both have Kate, the same bearings in there. Make sure they turn good. Clean those out. And don't go crazy with the compressed air. You'll blow these out, and you'll you'll have to be pressing those back in. Uh, so we got everything cleaned up. <clears throat> I got a kit that came with a new, uh, uh, what is this, a pinion gear? It's either spur gear or pinion gear. I forget what it's called. Uh, the kit also came with this gear here. But this looks good. We're not going to change it. If you had to, I don't know if you can see in there. There's a little uh, clip. You have to take it out to get this gear out. Uh, I can't think of the name. Of that. It's not an E clip. It's a snap ring. Excuse me, snap ring. And the new connecting rod. You see how those bearings are in there? They've got a little case around them, uh, so they're not loose compared to the old one where those bearings are in there and you gotta be really careful. You don't want to spray any compressed air and as soon as you hit this with gasoline or anything to clean it, they're all gonna fall out because the grease kind of holds them in there. So if you do do it all in one bucket um, and you can put them back in there, it's a tedious process, but it can be done anyway. We've got all that cleaned up now and uh, I'm going to put it back in and I'm going to use just a uh, little, uh, I use uh, Lucas Oil uh, red and tacky grease and I'm going to just kind of coat everything as I'm putting it back together and we're going to sharpen the blades and I'll get back with you. Alright guys, so <clears throat> what we've done is uh, this, this plate right here goes in first and I, I greased the bottom just a little bit in here with that red and tacky. Put this back in, just like that. Pop that in. Then you have to put your lower connecting rod in. And your new spur gear. Or not spur gear, I keep calling it spur gear, pinion gear. And, uh, it really doesn't matter which way this goes on this one. They're, it's the same either way. Uh, but it does need to fit around here. So you want to put you some light grease on that. And we'll kind of get that synced in. Align that. What you can do is you can just kind of fiddle with it a little bit, and you'll get it in there. Well, hold on. All right, guys. So your next step, uh, once you've got got that on there, you have to line this up. So you may have to spin this a little bit to get this connecting rod to spin around, because you want this tab right there to fit into here on your blades and your screw holes need to line up as well so you may have to turn it a little bit to get lined up and it'll fall out that happens and die 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 so let's get it tightened up right and uh, i'll be back got it all lined up now uh as best we can it's in there and then you want to just tighten the screw down and tighten that down to hold everything in place for you. And it should look like this. Okay. And you can go ahead and put your other screw back in. All right, we've got that in. Now, and don't forget your little orange piece. It goes right 
goes right here and the tab, the little tits stick up. So it'll fit right back in there just like that. Now we're ready to put the top uh, the top connecting rod back on. And you see it has a bottom side and an upper side. And uh, we're using the old one here. So you gotta be really careful. We'll get this around here. And you may have to tweak it a little bit. So we're gonna do that and I'll be right back. Things clean too. So we've got that back on there. And uh, you can kinda, if you want to, you can make sure that everything's spinning freely at this point. Uh, just make sure it's turning, everything's doing good. Uh, kind of hard for me to turn it by hand right here but uh, after that then this plate would go back on just like so get it in there and then we're ready to put the cover back on so we'll get that done and I'll be back all right guys so uh, we've got everything back on back together covers tightened down uh, Blades are sharpened. Let's give her a pull and see what's going on. Let me back up some. Appreciate it, guys. Y'all have a good one. Jungle Bob out.